Tab stops can be helpful when you want to align text within a paragraph. However, you might also want an easy way to get rid of all the tab stops in a document. In this video, I show you the quick way to get rid of the tab stops that you don't want. Word allows you to easily set tab stops. This can be done on a paragraph-by-paragraph -paragraph basis if you want. This means that you can set tab stops differently in this paragraph than you do in the paragraph after it. Anything having to do with tab stops is controlled through the Tabs dialog box. You can access this dialog box by placing the insertion point in the paragraph that you want to affect and then clicking the small icon at the bottom right of the paragraph group on the home tab of the ribbon. That displays the paragraph dialog box and here you can click on the tabs button at the bottom left corner of the dialog box. Notice a word doesn't make it easy to get to this dialog box. However, once you're there, you can make any changes in tab stops that you want. It's important to realize that any changes you do make here will affect just the paragraph in which the insertion point is located. And because the insertion point is within this paragraph, the tab stops that are shown in the tabs dialog box are those that are set within this paragraph. If I want to delete all of the tab stops in this one paragraph, I could click the Clear All button. What if I want to delete all of the tab stops in the entire document, though? In order to see how that works, I need to get out of the tabs dialog box, so I'm going to press the Escape key in order to get rid of it. The easiest way to affect tab stops in the entire document is to press Control A. This selects everything in the entire document. Now I can, once again, click the small icon at the bottom right corner of the paragraph group on the home tab of the ribbon, which displays the paragraph dialog box. And now I can click Tabs to finally get to the Tabs dialog box. Notice that there are no actual tab stops shown this time in the tabs dialog box like there were a few moments ago. This is because Word recognizes that there are different tab stops set in different paragraphs. Since it cannot display them all, it displays none of them. They are still there, however, so don't be fooled because you don't see any right here. At this point, I can click the Clear All button right down here and that displays the word all up here under the tab stops to be cleared area. When I click on the clear all button, the tab stops in the selected paragraphs, in other words, the entire document, are deleted. In order to make my action final, however, I need to close the tabs dialog box by clicking on OK right down here. And you can see that the alignment of all of the information within this document has changed. There are two things that you need to understand about deleting tab stops in this manner. First, deleting all tab stops doesn't get rid of any of the tab characters in the document. Tab characters are different than tab stops. In fact, you can still see that there are tab characters in the document on the screen here. They look like a rightward pointing arrow. If you want to get rid of the tab characters, the best way is to use Word's Find and Replace capabilities. The second thing to understand is that when you get rid of tab stops, Word's default tab stops automatically come into play. By design, the default tab stops are every half inch. You can change this setting if you want, but what you cannot do is get rid of the default tab stops. Word doesn't provide any way to do that. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please click the subscribe button and then click the bell icon. That way you'll be informed whenever I add a new video to the Word Tips channel. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today.